Hey YouTube, Rocky here again. This is a follow up video to my SNES modding video. Uh, I was having, having another look online and I have discovered that the mod was not as difficult as what I thought. So I've whipped at this old ring iron and had a quick go at it. It's not as easy as what I thought it was. You basically, there's a chip underneath here. You need to lift one of the legs, desolder one of the legs, and then solder cables onto that. But you need to be pretty good at soldering because if because it's very easy to knack it up and I thought I'd almost done it myself so but anywho after much missing out I've, I've finished it so I'll show you my progress so moment I've got the case off obviously uh, UK European flashback in there so I'll turn it on there you go just push start whatever it is come on stop. there we go Excuse me, that's just the computer's email coming in. So, yay! Worked perfect. I'll turn it off. Object. Right, if I. This switch here, it's not the final wiring, it's pretty. So I pulled out the cartridge, yep. Now, this switch here I've wired in for the region mod. I don't even think I'm going to even use this switch finally, I'm going to order something a bit better because I'm not wanting to drill a huge hole or do a smaller hole with a wee metal switch. So, now, I've wired it up slightly differently from the way the, the guide says. I'll post a link to the guide in the bottom here. Just be warned, if you knack your snares, it's not my fault. So, let me just turn... So, at this point, the region lock is engaged. Click the switch, the region lock is disengaged. So, we'll take our old the skins game here. Getting shot here. Show it in. Turn it on. And magically, without any converter, works perfectly well. Great. So, let's push start. Start. Here we go. Get the game going. So, we'll just, so we'll just turn off the SNES here. Turn the SNES off. The switch again, re engage the region lock, turn on the machine. Nah, nothing. So, however, there is another drawback. Let's turn the region lock off. I find it, but I don't want to see it. Remember the old Star Trek one from the previous video? Shove it in with the region lock disengaged. I don't know if it needs the 50 60 hertz switch as well, but I can't get it to work no matter what I try, so that's one of them that doesn't work. However, all my other ones that I've tried, my American games that I've got, do work fine, so turn this one off, eject, put in Street Fighter 2, turn it on, and there we go, first time. I'm really happy with this actually, it's worked out pretty well. So all I need to do now, just turn it off again. All I need to do now is clean up the wiring, mount the switch pro properly. I'll probably have to put it in here at the back, or maybe just here, just a quick flick region switch. The case, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do yet. I don't know if I'm going to machine holes in here. I'm going to take the top plate off and have a look and see what I can do uh, with that. Apart from that, that's it pretty much done. So I'll post a link in the notes to the guy to do this, guys. But thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Bye bye.